Hi everybody, it's Dr. Rose Kumar from the Omani Center in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. I just wanted to speak to you today about two drugs that have shown potential promise for COVID-19, hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin, taken separately, uh, hydroxychloroquine, and together, hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin, together. Um, France put out a paper last week stating that they have had uh, good results with hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin, but France's data was anecdotal. It was a small number of patients and it was not put through a rigorous clinical trial. Clinical trials are what science does best. We actually are able to tell what the risk benefit ratio is, what the side effects are, and whether or not a medication should be uh, distributed to the general public. It is very, very important for us to wait for science to tell us whether or not these drugs or alone or together uh, are effective and safe uh, for us to take. There has already been one death and one person in critical condition after taking hydroxychloroquine and many pharmacists and healthcare providers are, have begun to promote this, uh, which is not really scientifically safe. So it is very important for you to have some patience right now and to just wait for a clinical trial to tell us whether or not this is the, uh, the appropriate treatment. A couple of words about the, um, the mechanism of hydroxychloroquine. Uh, hydroxychloroquine is a drug that very simply does two things. Uh, this is an oversimplification, uh, so I just would like you to um, make sure that you understand that. Uh, the hydroxychloroquine alkalinizes the cell and it also reduces inflammation. And those are the two areas where uh, the environment in the body is unfavorable for COVID-19. While we're waiting for a clinical trial, I think it's prudent for all of us to alkalinize our bodies and to reduce inflammation. And we can do that through our lifestyle. There is unbelievable power in the choices we make right now as to what we feed ourselves and how we cope with our stress. So we have to really understand that what we're putting our hope into that is a quick fix can actually be something that we do for ourselves in order to make our bodies unfavorable for a virus that is so aggressive. So uh, if you haven't watched my previous videos, please do because I do emphasize the importance of lifestyle and, uh, and interestingly, the mechanism of hydroxychloroquine, uh, in a sense, uh, does what our lifestyle can do over time. That time frame is about a week. So within a week, we can actually alter our biochemistry and make it less favorable for COVID-19. So why don't we start with that? The other piece to this puzzle with uh, the pharmaceutical intervention is that uh, hydroxychloroquine and zithromax, azithromy azithromycin together will uh, uh, increase your risk of developing a fatal heart arrhythmia. So people that have comorbidities that do really poorly with the, with the virus uh, because they have a massive inflammatory response and cardiac complications uh, are at greater risk for developing these arrhythmias and we do not want to be in a situation where younger people develop fatal arrhythmias while taking this combination without a clinical trial. So I just wanna make sure that you understand that the scientific community is working extremely hard and fast at trying to figure out how to provide you with something that is safe, effective, and has the least amount of risk. Just because this drug has been around forever doesn't mean that we can just take it nilly-willy and expect to come out uh, of this pandemic with no consequences. We really don't want a potential cure to be worse than the disease itself. And there's much, much, much we can do to prevent ourselves from getting very ill from this virus 
by making the choices that alkalinize our body and reduce inflammation. So I hope you you uh, take this uh, as it was intended to help you think more clearly and to understand the, some of the rigors that science has to put things through in order to offer you um, uh, good advice and safe advice. Be well and eat those greens.